Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameMini1.com. Alright, this is it, the final level of Wong Guy's campaign for Wu, the Battle of Chengdu against Liu Bei's forces. Okay, nothing is going to change equipment-wise, because we, we only got upgraded with the 7-star Sash, I believe. What was that in the previous level? Anyways, it doesn't seem to have helped us that much, so why don't we switch up the weaponry here to a pike? That way we can they're focusing on their attack points. Hopefully they'll be able to gain a level with pike equipped. That way we can actually gain attack power. Okay, so let's go over our units here. We did have a very large amount of them, but sadly so does Shu. Zhuge Liang so far is the leader, even though Liu Bei is supposed to be the final boss of this level. Liu Bei is just not there yet. But Zhuge Liang has his uh, protege Zhang Wei with him. Ma Su is over there in the Wu Castle with Guan Xing and Guan Suo, two of Guan Yu's sons. Ma Dai is there with Mi Zhu. Zhang Fei is there with the son Zhang Bao. Yue Ying is over there to the southwest. And Wang Ping, Liao Hua, and Gao Xiang is over there to the north to the Isilwo castle. Alright, this is it, the moment of truth. Time for us to take down Shu once and for all. We're all the way to Yi province in the west of China. We will take Chengdu and seal the fate of Shu. Now, this is not an easy level by any stretch of the imagination. It's still much, 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 MUCH easier than the Nanman campaign. And they took down a bridge. Nice job. Luckily, we'll still find a way to get across. So this is where we start off to the north. Sometimes you'll just start right by the enemy main camp. I mean, your main camp. The enemy main camp, that would be too easy. Well, first we gotta take out these troops over here so we can s get an easy path to the castle. There we go. Yeah, I know. Let's do something about it, Ling Tong. God, just shut up about the enemy being strong! Why don't you just go down on them? Jeez. Let's just fight them. Maybe they won't be so strong. We must not fall behind! Now uh, there's Liao Hua over there. So it should make it easier for our northern troops by taking out these officers. Man, everyone's morale is dropping like crazy. Everyone's units are struggling. It's gonna be a pain. So just gotta make sure we can take out everybody we can. Remember, this is the final battle. Now I practiced this, I was able to do it. The unfortunate side is, I don't believe you can pick up items here, just stat upgrades. Oh great, that's Zhuge Liang's Arbalists. They're stationed on Luol Castle. You wanna know what Arbalists are? Think of it as 10 crossbows taped together. That's what it is. Yeah, have fun with that. But if we defeat Masu, we should be able to disable the Arbalists. Aw, oh, Lu Mong's down. That's not gonna help our southern troops. But we got catapults ready to try to get into the castle. There. We'll destroy the Arbalists with the catapult. Yeah, just as long as they don't destroy them themselves. Archers are the worst. Where'd they go? Oh, there it is. Now it's just a matter of making sure the catapults are safe. You don't have to protect them, but it makes your life a lot easier. So now all we have to do is just infiltrate the uh, castle. First, we just gotta take out Guan Suo. We can actually get in there. Oh, one of our catapults is down. Only because they're pretty much the final fight. That's all it is. 
not for that. We'd have an easier time. Okay, now we made it inside the castle. We should really help out Soon Jian's forces later on once I deal with Ma Su. Lay the bridge down and attack the castle. Oh, good. They got a bridge there already. Oh, there he is. Okay, luckily we don't need the catapults anymore. I really like the music here. It's just very intense. Damn it. Just getting totally annihilated here. Well, not really. I mean, I got good defense. Oh, he's almost down. Gotcha! There, that should stop the Arbalists. Okay, I'm losing. I might lose bodyguards from this. I need some health. All forces. I, well, I don't need the health. My bodyguards do. Okay, good. I should be safe. We must all follow your example. <sighs> yes, that would be nice. Not be a good example. Actually, getting back to the main camp. Oh, I lost to Jew. Yeah, I think we're getting to the point where my bodyguards are going to be in a heap of trouble. At least Ling Tong's still okay. Said no one ever. Okay, I gotta get to the main camp because Zhang Fei is getting real close. It is time. Hide in the fog and surprise the enemy. Great, now I gotta deal with uh, ambush troops. And they're gonna be showing up in the forest. But going through the forest is the best way to uh, get to Liu Bei's stronghold. So it should definitely help out the main camp. That way I can breathe a little bit easier. This far and no further. Uh, are any of my troops even in there? Probably just NPCs. Oh god, their morale's at 8! They cannot live any longer. They are strong. But do not falter. Oh dear, their morale is rising. As much as I'd like to be able to get right in there and attack the enemies at their stronghold, I gotta protect my own. This doesn't look good. Uh oh. Yeah, we're losing morale like crazy. Are any of my bodyguards even here? I don't even know where they are. Don't tell me they're all lost. Let us go as well. Okay, what are the units around here? I gotta check it out. Oh, Liu Bei finally made his appearance over there. Okay, Madai is over there. Zhang Fei is over there. All right. I don't think there's any uh, sub-generals inside the uh, main camp. Okay, I still have bodyguards. I was wondering about them. I think it's now time to go after Madai's forces. Ugh. Oh, there he is! Speaking of the devil... Time to hit this guy with everything we got. And then after I deal with Zhang Fei, I'll head over to the forest. When I first played this level, and it was as the Wei forces, I was struggling pretty badly. I kept having some of my forces losing, which made me have to do more work to protect the main camp. I was constantly having to babysit it, and it was just totally annoying. Oh, right now, John Bao is here. Ah, Gross is gone. Okay, finally, Madai is gone, so I gotta deal with John Bao. Where is he? There he is. Oh, extra defense. I could really use that for a few seconds. Ah, he was gone. He had a good run. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose all my bodyguards before I even make it to the Shu stronghold. There! 
You know, for level 1, this uh, Ice Orb has really done me a lot of favors. I bow to your skills. They all do, Lushun. They all do. How many archers are there? Are you ready to take on Jang Fei? Not in a duel! I'm actually going to decline this one. I didn't come this far just so I can lose in like one or two hits. Oh, great. Now Machao's here. And he actually appeared inside Luo Castle, which I thought we had a foothold in. However, it seems like he decided, you know what, I'm just going to show up now. Oh man, I'm just getting flanked. Uh, health is not looking good for me. Every time I just get one or two hits, I'm interrupted right, a bit, right away. Ugh. Oh, good. And I'll brag has gone. Nice of you to say goodbye. Ah, uh, Xu Shang's down. Oh, Zhang Fei actually has some decent defense. There, that should make it a little bit easier with less archers. Oh, you're still here. I could have swore I was blocking. Sorry, brothers. I messed up. In a big way. Yeah, so now Jean Fei's dead. Okay, I think Machao is going to be heading our way, too. So I better be ready for him. I'm going to need some less troops around here, too. Is there any sub-officers uh, fighting inside our camp? Okay, Machao's over there. Who's fighting him? Ah, oh, Lushun is. I better help him. The enemy is strong. Exercise caution. Oh, he's struggling. I better get there quick. Good thing he's on the way to where I want to go. So Lu Xun is dealing with Ma Chao's forces and Liu Bei's forces. That's not good. Hopefully I can get there before it's too late for him. I mean, look at the morale. It's even worse for us now. We, we barely got a sliver of blue on it. Hey, what's up? Got no time for you peons. I gotta take out your main guy. Hopefully Lu Shun just did a nice bit of damage to him. But I doubt it. I'd say they're both at full health. Well, at least Ma Chao is. Yeah, they're both at full health. Come back here! I won't fight you! Okay, Macho is very dangerous on his horse, so get him off quickly. Like, if you're one character that likes to use horses, Macho is the best character you can pick. But, since he's our opponent, good thing I kept him away from his horse. Okay, I got him corner fucked right now. Good. What? Uh, dude! I'm right here! Do you not acknowledge me, Lu Shun? The one that's actually fighting Ma Chao right now? It's just so you can deal with peons? Oh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, thanks! Speaking of peons, one of them helped me! Did he just block my earthquake? Ah! Damn, he's got a lightning attack. I almost got him. Just gotta make sure he doesn't boost his stats. Good. I have no regrets. And no chance of beating me! Yeah. Oh, there's a gate captain. You were just celebrating a deadlock, and then oh, look what happens. 
Okay, now that stronghold has been sealed. It should let us breathe a bit easier for now. Now is our chance to infiltrate the forest. I really should have taken a horse with me, then... Yeah, I probably would be jumping off a bit soon anyway. Looks like there's a scrum over there to the northwest. So I should help my immediate units. Oh, Lushun, you're struggling again? I just made it easier for you. Break me sideways. There's just no hope for ya. Okay, now expect some ambush troops every few seconds or so. Zhang Yi is here. Yeah, the music doesn't change, but you actually get to hear crickets. And the camera angle looks a bit wonky, or at least the atmosphere looks wonky. Just to make it look like it's foggy. Oh! Oh, it's a draw! Doesn't matter now. I still win. In the very end, of course. Yeah, I think I have no more bodyguards. It's been like that for the last few minutes now. Okay, ambush troops everywhere. Is this the right way to go? Yes. Another ambush party. I'm mostly just gonna be ignoring them unless they have officers. Archers are also a problem. Prepare yourself. Oh, Jesus. Guan Yu is here. On top of red hair, of course. Remember, after the events of Lu Bu's death, Guan Yu wound up boring the horse. Red hair, of course, is one of the best horses in the entire game, and is very legendary. Of course, being ridden by a legendary warrior right now, Guan Yu. Oh, I'll use my Muso attack too. Ah, uh, Sujian's struggling. Hopefully he can live through all, all this. I didn't want to get this far just to have him die on me. Okay, the sooner I take out all of one use forces, the better. He's gonna keep blocking me, I'll just go for the troops. Oh, thanks! We're not going to be a bit closer to health. Okay, I'm not going to hold back on this guy. Ah, I was blocking! How did I still get hit as if I wasn't? Maybe because I was blocking a bit too late. Yeah, charge attacks break blocks. There we go. Oh. Oh my god. He's very beefy, this guy is. Oh, oh. Yeah. If you're wondering about the oath, that was the uh, infamous Peach Garden oath between Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei. They swore an oath at the Peach Garden that even though they are not really biological brothers, that they were to die on the same year, on the same hour, at the very same day. That was the oath that they swore as sworn brothers. It's, it's very sweet that they have so much respect for each other that they're willing to want to die at the same time. Like, that's true friendship right there. Ah, oh, Panjong's down. As soon as I can take on Ma Liang, I can focus on the other troops. Oh, damn it. Everybody's everywhere. And not for the right reasons, either. Jeez, Ling Tong's still alive? <laughs> I didn't think he had much of a chance at the very end. Alright, now I'm real deep into all this. It's getting real foggy. Oh, there's Liu Bei. Lord Liu Bei. Peasants, why are you dressed for war? 
We're your people, Lord Liu Bei. It's our duty. And we are very... We must fight to repay your kindness. <laughs> Look at the guy on the right. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword without being so awkward. Alright, final battle! Let's do this! I will not fall. So this time we got Liu Bei. Oh, Zhang Wei's there too. And I say Zhuge Liang's not far behind. I say he won't even show up unless I go further north. The enemy is yeah, no shit, Ling Tong! It's been like this for a long time! Oh man, there's just so many troops everywhere. Most of them are peasants. Ah, oh, damn it. John Wei uses Muso. Oh, health! I need to get it. Oh, now Jugglyon's coming. That's just what I need. And Jugglyon sadly has bombardiers with him. So I guess I'm not the only one who can use bombs in this fight. Well, now it's just getting really intense. Yeah, I know, Soonjian. I wish you were here. Actually, no, I don't. I'd rather you stay away. Did I even do any damage to Jugleon? Maybe a small amount. Jesus, look at how many troops there are. They're just popping up ad infinitum. I'm just getting pounded from every angle. Oh, damn it, death lasers. What? Did Lu Bei gain health? Yes, he did. Doesn't really help that I got three elite officers to deal with, and now I got women coming after me. Those are the actual peasants. Oh, now Ling Tong finally uh, met his match. Just when I thought the legend of Ling Tong would last forever. Ah, lightning. And they got not even got Lord Raiden on their side. Oh good, Elixir. We must all follow your By you know rushing in recklessly against the main forces? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Nice example there, Sunjian. Your prayers shall not go unanswered. Uh yeah, they will. There's going to be nothing left of them. Oh, man, I'm surprised Zhang Wei is still even here. Oh, I almost got him. Yes! That'll make my life easier. Forgive me, Prime Minister. Mr. Prime Minister, I'm sorry! Oh my god, look! After all this, is their morale even higher? This does not make sense. I'm bashing the brains of their leader, and yet they have even higher morale. Is that because I've lost so many officers? Oh, damn it, Jugleong. Oh, I didn't want to grab that. I want to wait till I use my Muso, then grab it. Yep, you gotta go, Juga. There. It appears I have met my destiny. Damn right you did. And soon Liu Bei is gonna meet his. And our main camp was under attack at that time, too. I shall return to the garden. There, Liu Bei is no more. We win! Only one kingdom stands tall, and that's us. The kingdom of Wu. I shall definitely reap the rewards of this victory. 
we don't get any items for that, but okay. And our bodyguards don't level up. Because they didn't live throughout the fight. So, enjoy the ending, everybody. We're the only kingdom left standing, so we'll just march single file. Everybody's waving to us. Waving the red flags of woo. Now China shall know peace. You know, you haven't been active very often soon, sir. Of course, he would ride alongside Zhou Yu. And we're back to our standard attire. It's kinda bright, son. Can you get some clouds around here, please? Well, the Let's Play is not over yet. Just for this particular person. I'll probably end up doing the Wu campaign again, just skipping certain levels to get special stages. Some of them you can only unlock just by clearing the campaign at least once. Zhang Zhao, the founder of the Way of Peace, lead his yellow turbans in an armed rebellion against the Han Dynasty that was spread across the land. The brave Sun Jian joined the task force against the yellow turbans, and by quelling numerous uprisings throughout the land, he was quickly revered as a hero. In the wake of the yellow turban rebellion, the heinous Dong Zhou seized his power on the Guigan Imperial Court. Soon thereafter, Jesus, this dialogue is so much. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the ending, I got a phone call. Alright, I apologize for that, that I was unable to read all that dialogue, which would have been much faster than me anyway. And quote the historians. Strength of fire, mind of lightning, speed of the tempest, thus order was restored. Usually depending on how you do, the poem changes a little. Okay, so there are like a certain bonus stages around this time. Sadly, you cannot just, like, uh, go to them, like, as a stage select or anything. And that just goes over your score in each level. Oh, so how else are the Wu Forces going to do? They're all just staring into the sun, enjoying the, f the view of the sea. And it's Joe Yu and Lu Xun gathering around together because, you know, they're strategists. Joe Tai is showing off his fancy moves. I always liked Joe Tai. He was a very fancy character. And, of course, Gan Ning is. Ha! <laughs> funny. Joe Tai is too quick for Gan Ning, apparently. Are they just fooling around with each other, Sun Chuan and Joe Tai? And there's the Kiao sisters. We don't even have them unlocked yet. We have to redo this campaign, and we have to select certain stages in order to unlock them. Now, if you're wondering why Sun Tzu and Zhou Yu were there, that's because Sun Tzu was married to Da Qiao, and Zhou Yu married Xiao Qiao. Xiao Qiao, of course, being the lighter-haired woman who uses fans, and everybody reviews her as a quote-unquote strong character when she really is not. 
That being said, however, let's just go over our progress. I believe we did unlock something. Let me double check. Of course, we're going to go to a new game. Oh, we did unlock the non mod campaign. I was thinking I didn't after that uh, grueling ordeal with the level non mod campaign. Turns out you were supposed to defeat Mongwo and Zhu Rong at least once in a duel. I thought you had to defeat Mongwo all seven times and then defeat Zhu Rong in a duel. Mongwo has to be defeated once in a duel within those seven times to unlock them. However, it seems that, you know, I fulfilled the objective. And I also unlocked Lu Bu's story mode just by defeating one campaign. So, anyways, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Zhang Liao is automatically unlocked for you because he's available through Lu Bu's campaign, but he's also unlockable on the wayside as well. So I'm gonna stop the video right here. In the next part, we're gonna do another campaign, this time as Zhao Dun of Wei. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.